Desert Beer. Right, what I'm going to show you today is how to take a photograph and then change it so it looks as though you've done a pencil sketch drawing. So we've got Scarlett Johansson here. This is what we're going to end up with. This is what we're starting with. So, what we're also going to do is make sure that we can record it like a macro. So actions, create new action, give it a name, whatever you want to call it, pencil, sketch, whatever you want it to be. And you can decide where you want to put it in your actions, which folder you want it to be under. Right, so once you've done all that, you need to go down and hit the record button. So basically what happens after this is, it records all the actions and then you can repeat them in future so you don't have to go through it all bit by bit. So everything we do now is going to record it. Control J, duplicate the layer. Rename that black and white. Then what we need to do is desaturate. So control shift in U. And this is this nice little black and white image. Control J, let's copy that. Let's rename that details, whatever you want to name it. Then we need to invert it, control and I, and then change the colour blend to sorry, the blend mode to colour dodge. Okay then if you go to layer, smart objects, convert to smart objects. We need to add a bit of uh, blur to this. So, filter, motion blur, and then we'll just give it an angle that looks good on the photograph. Now we need to then uh, duplicate the black and white layer and then move it to the top. Control J to duplicate, and select it, drag and drop it at the top. Right, filter, down to stylize, and then glowing edges. Now you can play about with these settings, um, go with what I've got, should be okay. I'll change it about, have a bit of a play. So control and I to invert that layer. And then if you set the blend mode on this one to multiply. Okay, and then we need to go to uh, windows and adjustments. There's different ways of getting to this, but uh, this is just quicker than any. Once you click on there, I think change the settings to about 12, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, something like that. So what we're going to do after this little bit here is we're going to add some lighting effects and then texturize the image to make it look as though it's been uh, done on proper drawing paper. Right, so you can select all the layers, if you hit the top one then I think uh, Control select the bottom one, they'll all get done, and then merge all them layers together. Right, filter, render, and lighting effects. Now, it's up to you how you have this. Everyone's got their own personal taste, drag it about, change all the settings to suit. Is it a little bit of an added depth, I think. You could add a... Well, you, lots of different things you can do, but it's up to you. So, I'm going into texturize. Again, 
I'm just going to quickly play about with all these settings, giving ideas of what uh, different things do. Once we've finished with this, we're going to hit the stop button on the recording, pick another photograph, and then just click play and see how it does on another way. So we finish that and click the stop button. And now what I'm going to do is go open one of the Kirsten. There we go. So go to your actions. Find whatever you named it as, pencil, sketch or whatever it is. And then hit the play button. And then go for all them actions we've just been doing and apply them to this photograph. And there you go. Quick as and easy as that. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please ask. Cheers from Dusty B.